Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to share a quick tip as far as keeping your line from slipping on a worn out popping cork. Now, as you may have noticed with these styrofoam popping corks is that over time, your line will start to wear into the styrofoam and it will become very loose on your line and it will start sliding up and down even with the pin in there. So there are a few things that you can do. First thing is to actually wrap your line around the popping cork twice. So the way to do that, basically just take your leader, run it through the slit like so. Then once you do that, what you're gonna do is double the line over that slit. So you basically uh, just wrap the line twice around there and then you would just take your pin, put it back into the cork like so. You can see it's gonna be a lot more snug on a new cork, but if it's worn out, that pin should easily go through there. And then that will keep your line from slipping on your leader or your main line. Now the biggest downfall to this is that you have to understand if you hook into a really big fish, you're gonna have pressure pulling on each side of that cork and since that line is wrapped around it, what can happen is it will start to dig into your cork and it could break it, damage it, and render it pretty much completely useless if that cork gets damaged too much. So there is another option that I wanna talk about here that is much more effective and will keep your cork from actually getting broken off if you do happen to hook into a bigger fish. And that is by using these right here. These are bobber stops. They're basically rubber stoppers that you put onto your line. And I'm gonna show you how to use them properly and show you a big mistake people make when using these with these styrofoam popping corks. So first let me talk about a big mistake people make and that is by basically just running the line through that center pin on the cork and then putting one of these bobber stops on there. The big mistake with that is that you are stopping the pin itself, but again, if that cork is loose on the pin, the cork is just gonna fall off that pin and then the pin is gonna stay in place. So what you wanna do is basically rig your cork up like you normally would by running the line through the slot on there and then having one of these bobber stops on either side of the popping cork. So the way you wanna to want to put these on, I'll go ahead and show you. They do sell these in different sizes, so if you're using a really heavy uh, leader or you have a really heavy line, you wanna go with one of the bigger ones. They just go on much easier. Uh, these are a little small, but I wanted to use them since they are colored, just so you can see what they look like on here. So you're gonna take the end of your line, you're gonna run it through. As you can see, these have little loops on top of there, uh, just above the stopper. You're gonna run your line through one of those loops, like so, and then you're going to basically just pull the stopper onto your line, as you can see there. And you're gonna do that twice. You're gonna want two of them. So you can slide that one up your line, like so. Then you're gonna take one more Again, same thing, just run it through that loop right above the stopper, double the line over itself, grab the stopper, pull it off, and slide it up close to the next stopper. And wherever you want uh, the cork on your line, that's where you're gonna have your stoppers at. And you want a, a gap big enough between the two so that your popping cork can fit in between each one. Now, same thing you would just normally do with these styrofoam popping corks. Just put it on in between those two stoppers. Just slide your line through that slit and then push the pin through. You can see that pin is really loose. As you can see there, the line is sliding uh, back and forth. One thing too you wanna make sure is that your line is actually on the bottom of the cork. You don't want it on top where that slit's at. So when you do put the pin back in there, make sure your line is pulled down and that pin goes through. That way your line is on the back side of the pin away from that slit. And then you're gonna slide those bobber stops up close to that styrofoam 
like so. Just slide them up. It can be a little tough, but that's good because you don't want your cork to slide around. You can also use a pair of pliers if you need to to get that stopper closer down like so and there you go now you have a stopper on either side of the popping cork so that can definitely help keep your cork in place and if they do start to get worn out they will uh, get worn out you would just have to obviously replace them but it keeps it in there pretty secure. As you can see, that line was pretty loose on there. Now I'm pulling on it and it's not going anywhere. Those stoppers helped keep that styrofoam in place. So if you like this video, definitely be sure to like and subscribe as we put out fishing tips pretty much on a daily basis to help you catch more fish. Also be sure to check out our Insider Fishing Club where we basically show you where and how to catch fish in 10 minutes or less every week. And you also have access to a very helpful community of anglers. So definitely check that out. Now, if you have any additional tips that you would like to share as far as keeping your popping cork in place when it gets worn out, definitely let us know in the comments down below. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Hey there, it's Joe Simons, one of the co-founders here at Salt Strong. Have you claimed your free pack of these irresistible slam shady paddle tail lures? If not, click down below to grab yours. If you're an inshore saltwater angler and you want to catch more redfish, more speckled trout, more snook, more flounder, then you have to check out these lures. We got one pack for free for every angler that wants them. Click down below now to grab yours.